straight line to the wrist, exactly. And when you're ready, back to rising top. And think about the swing with him. Exactly. He doesn't need to go so big. That's a bit too round. Yeah, that's good. That's him. He's going to break over in that third vertebrae very easily because there's not a lot of horse past that third vertebrae, right? There's just a tiny little neck there. So he has to push his nose out more. That's too round. Yes. You want a very open throat latch with him and you want to feel the rain. Feel like the rain becomes like a stick and you can push his nose out with your hands. Yes. Good. Then rock him back a little with your upper body back. 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 That's it. Then forward swinging. Closing your calf. On. On everything. Very much so in rhythm with him. Very good. That's right. Don't be tempted to make him deep. Just connect it straight ahead. Yes, push your arms out. Good. Leave his nose a little bit out like that. That's what I want. Not any rounder in there. Good. That's the trot rhythm I like too. Then he swings. You know that everything is loose. Very good. Change direction. Let's see him the other way. And again, a little out with his nose if you can. And rock your body a little bit. And then, yes, you have to sit like that, okay? Or I should say post like that. That's a good trot. If he's comfortable there through the turns, I would leave him a bit forward like that. Not any longer, right? He's a little shorter. Don't confuse nose out with long in the neck. Yes, good. Or else he gets strung out a little bit too, you know? Yeah. Doesn't have a ton of power back there for you to ride him super long in the neck and expect him to be able to collect. You have to find that happy medium in the positioning with him. Well, very good. If you want a definition, you have to find bascule. It's a French word for bascule, which is what they do over the jump. When the pole and the tail are at the same height, the back must be the highest point. Think about riding that with him. So you can put his pole down a little bit, but you'll want to discover what positioning is best for him to have his back up. Yes, and then nose out a little bit when you can. Push your arms forward. Go ahead and, and drive that trot just a little bit more. that tempo. Good. Oh, <laughs> I melt and freeze very easily. Good. Good. Yes, I like him there. Move the trot tempo on a touch more. Yes. Good. He swings there. I wouldn't put him in the corners yet. For those little loss of that, don't bring him back. Let him try on, change posting. Change posting, good. And a little forward. Nose forward from your arms. Yes, that, that looks pretty connected there. Yeah, it feels good. Ah, nice. Very good. Can I see him canter a little bit? Good try. And ask him why he thought he had to canter with the shoulders first. Uh, good try again. Wait, wait until he's moved through. Arms forward. And a little forward in the truck. Yes, back to try again. You're right, absolutely. Those simple transitions are very important. Make sure the neck is not so low. Nose a little out. Yes, arms a little forward. Think about it. Don't move the leg very far back. It's like a horse that does a crew pie change when you move the leg too far back, the butt comes up. Think 
Ask him to canter from the shoulder more and you hope that the hind leg comes first. Still does it from the shoulder first, then. Huh? Give him a little kick. No, no, he don't do that. Okay. Yeah, it's well, much better behind, a little ruder in the front. And try it again. Yes. Okay, now that he wants to pull down, you're going to have to bring him up, yeah? Exactly. Good. And again, make a point of that just. Up here, light. Good. Up here, light. I know he's not that strong in his back, but if you don't have a choice, you don't have a choice. You must get that contact lighter before you can't hurt. Let go. Don't hold him. Alright. That was better. But you might have to ride him more up than the can That's a girl. Keep repeating that. Up, out, up, out, up, out, up, out. Yeah, until you can let go. Ooh, he doesn't want to go up at all, huh? Yes, good. That's the hind leg position. Good. Until you feel like you can make. So in the trot, you have to really connect him. In the canter, you have to get him much looser and independent in the top line. So bring him up until you feel like you can make a little loop in the rain. Up, loop in the rain. Up, loop in the rain. He cannot hold you that strong. Too complicated. It's way too hard for you, huh? If I said extended canter right now, you would go, well, oh, I won't be able to bring him back. Let go. Right there, let go. Yes! Up, let go. Same thing. Until you can let go more often. Let go quicker. Feel like this way. You know when you do a curl at the gym with a weight? The moment you feel you're halfway up the curl, let go for a second. Or else he's going to make you flex your arm. Once you flex your arm, he pulls. Up, light, up, light, up, every stride. Up, light, up, looser in between. You have to be quicker. On, off, on, off, on, off. Look at my hand. Like that. The moment you feel like you're going to flex your arm, let your rein go. Open your finger. There you go. There you go. He can't pull down on that. But there's nothing to pull down on. That's right. You'll eventually have to get his head and neck steadier. But if you can't stop him, that's the first priority to contact. On, off, on, off, until his neck comes a little higher. Straight ahead. Good. Good. Sit a little deeper, Justin. There. Good. Anchor yourself a little. Oh, this is all I can.